Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to demonstrate how to expand a disk that's managed by Windows Failover Cluster Manager. Now, what you're probably going to want to do, at least what most people will want to do, is they'll go into their Hyper-V and they will do what they've always done to expand a disk. You go to the server, shut it down, and then go in to edit your disk. Wrong. Why? Because Hyper-V is not the top of the tree. The top of the tree is, management-wise, is Failover Cluster Manager. So that is what you use. Do not upgrade or make changes to your disk through Hyper-V. Okay, so first thing, what you want to do is shut the uh, shut the, the server down. So you can do that a number of ways. I'll just right click on it and select shut down. In case you're wondering, turn off means pull a plug. So yeah, don't do that either. Boom, gone. In failover cluster manager, right click and go to settings or just click settings over here, whatever floats your boat. And then find the drive in question. In my case, uh, the one I need to expand is this one and select edit. Now make sure that this is turned off and make sure that there are no checkpoints associated with it. You cannot, well you can, but you'll blow it up. You do not expand disks that have checkpoints, you know, any snapshots, make sure you've got rid of them. Okay, blah, next. Uh, select expand and how much do we want to expand it? In my case, I just want to expand it an extra 10 gig. So I'm going to set it to 3.51 terabyte, which is 3,500 click finish and click OK. And then back in failover cluster manager, start it up. Won't take very long. Log into the machine, then right click on the start button and select disk management. Find your disk. Here it is. So I'm going to right click on it and select extend volume. And basically this is a click next change and bingo. Now the disk is 3.51 terabyte. If you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe's always appreciated. We'll also link a couple of interesting videos that are related to this in the top right hand corner. And if you have any questions or concerns, get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. We'll leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because it's YouTube. All right, thanks. Have a great day. Bye bye.